Hi, I'm Lee Patrick Sullivan with Energy Now, and today I'd like to talk to you about the power of the wind. People have been using wind as a form of energy for thousands of years to power sailboats and windmills. Without the power of wind, our ancestors would have struggled to travel across oceans, trade with other nations, and explore the wonders of the world. Wind is air in motion. It's caused by differences in atmospheric pressure and uneven temperatures on the Earth's surface when heated by the sun. Because the air over the land heats up more quickly than the air over the water, the warm air rises and the heavier, cooler air rushes in to take its place, creating wind. While the process is not as predictable as the rising and setting of the sun, it's just as renewable. In 2011, wind power generated about 2.5% of total U.S. electricity, although in a few states such as Texas, South Dakota, and Iowa, wind generated more than 14% of the power. Wind turbines harness the kinetic energy of moving air. The air blows over the blades, creating lift, just like the wings of an airplane. This causes the blades to move and through a drive shaft, this turns a generator that creates electricity. Similar to solar arrays, wind farms connect individual wind turbines together to generate electricity on a large scale. These wind farms can be built on both land and water. Building wind farms off the coastline of the United States is a new idea for capturing more of the wind's energy. Offshore areas have plenty of space, the wind is reliable, and wind farms built off the coastline would be much closer to major cities than those that already exist on land. In 2010, the federal government granted a permit for a wind farm with 130 large turbines off the shore of Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Additional offshore projects have been proposed in the waters off Maryland and Delaware, as well as Texas. But of course, winds are variable, and they may fall off just when power demand is greatest. So to provide a reliable electricity supply day in and day out, wind power must be matched with other flexible sources of power that can ramp up and down when needed, such as natural gas-fired power plants. And the larger the volume of wind power we have, the greater the need for flexible backup generation and for power storage and adequate transmission facilities to maintain reliable service for customers by balancing electricity supply and demand in different areas. Hey everybody, welcome to Borlex. Borlex develops and builds and operates renewable power facilities. That means that they make electricity out of things like the wind. Isn't that amazing? We need electricity to turn our lights on or make our TVs play, and they can make it out of the wind. It's incredible. I wonder how it works, though. Hi, Katie. Hi. Hi, everyone at home. I'm Brian, and I'm engineer at Borlex, and I can tell you all about it. That's great. Okay, Brian, so how do you turn the wind into electricity? Well, first, you need to build a big wind turbine like this building block set here. Oh, that's made out of building blocks? Yeah, yeah, isn't it cool? <laughs> yeah. So first, you have to build a big concrete foundation, like similar to the one in your home, and then you install all the tower sections. And once the tower is installed, you install the nacelle, where the power generator and all the gears are located. And then finally, you use a big crane to lift the blades in place, and you have a wind turbine ready to make power from the wind. Wow, so the wind blows, and it turns those big blades? That's right. That's right. So once the wind blows, the blades start spinning and it makes power for your homes. That's amazing. Would you like to go see our wind turbines and check it out for yourself? Yeah, we'd love to. All right, let's go. All right, let's go see. Katie, welcome to the Niagara Region Wind Farm. Wow, there's a lot of wind turbines around here. Yeah, there's 77 in this project. Wow, they're so tall. How tall is a wind turbine? Well, these wind turbines are the tallest in North America, so they're over 174 meters tall. That sounds really tall. Yeah, so if you would take 55 elephants and stack them on each other's backs, that's how tall these wind turbines are. Can you imagine 55 elephants on top of each other? That would be a sight to see for yeah. sure. Well, this is a sight to see. It's so big. And I can see um, it's, it's moving up there, so does that mean that it's making electricity right now? That's right. So when the wind blows and the turbine catches the wind, the blades spin and generate the power that is then delivered to your homes. And how much power is one turbine making? So each wind turbine over the course of the year creates enough power for about a thousand homes. A thousand? That's, that's quite a bit. That makes quite a lot of energy. It does. It does for sure. Yeah. So, but how does the energy that the wind turbine is making here, how does that get to our house and so that we could use it as electricity? Well, Katie, just as you like to use cords at home to plug in your devices, mm -hmm. we use cables called power lines to take the power generated from the wind turbine to your homes. These lines can go either underground or above ground on poles. 
Oh. So those power lines that we see along the highways and streets and stuff, those are carrying electricity to our house? That's right. So kids, next time you're in the car with mom and dad, have a look out the window and see if you can see some power lines. Yeah, I've seen those. That's really neat. How fast is it moving? So the wind turbine at full power does a complete turn about 14 to 15 times a minute. Now that doesn't sound very fast, but because the blades are so long, the tip is moving almost twice as fast as a cheetah can run. A cheetah? A cheetah is the fastest land mammal. It's going twice as fast as a cheetah? It is. That's really fast. Wow. Does it ever go too fast if it gets too windy? Well, so if there's a very big storm with very high winds, the turbine has an automatic system that will shut itself down. It basically turns the blades out of the wind and the wind turbine slows down by itself. Wow, that's a, quite a sophisticated piece of machinery. It's very sophisticated and very complicated. <laughs> now, does anyone ever go all the way up to the top? So our workers that do the maintenance on the wind turbines climb to the top and they use a ladder or they take an elevator. There's an elevator in there? There's a very small elevator. Wow. I guess you can't be afraid of heights if you're going to go out there and work on the wind turbine. Definitely not. <laughs> so can you tell us why it's important to use a renewable energy source like wind to make our electricity? Why would we want to do that? So wind power is a renewable energy source. Wind will always be around. So when you generate electricity from the wind, you're not burning dirty fuels, which creates air pollution or water pollution, which results in a much cleaner environment and cleaner air for us to breathe. <sighs> yeah, this air does smell really clean. It's nice. It's really nice today. So the key words that we came up with were turbine, generate, electricity, pressure, renewable, green energy. Or I think in the video they mentioned clean energy, didn't they? So they're the types of uh, words that you might use when re referring to wind power. The definition of wind power is energy that is made and used from the wind. Okay, the two uh, interesting facts from the video that we collected was it is twice as fast as a cheetah, the turbine spinning, I presume they mean from the tip, and it is as tall as 55 elephants climbing on top of one another, which is, sounds very tall indeed. Okay, and now for our advantages, advantages and disadvantages of wind power. Advantages of wind power. It does not release dangerous gases into the atmosphere, so there's no CO2, nitrous oxide, and other dangerous gases. It doesn't release any gases. It does not use up fossil fuels. It is cost-effective. It is a renewable energy source, which means you can keep on using it. It can generate electricity at night or when it is dark, as opposed to solar energy. So that's one advantage it has over another renewable energy source. The disadvantages are some people don't like how wind turbines look. They find them unattractive. They can be quite noisy. They kill a lot of birds, unfortunately, because they're spinning so fast, as was said here, they, they move twice as fast as a cheetah. The birds often accidentally get hit by them. And they're moving very fast and they're very heavy, so it's, uh, it's quite dangerous for birds to be flying around them. The initial cost is quite high. So at first, when you build them, they do cost a lot. After that, they, you get your money back through the electricity that they generate. Uh, how a turbine works. The wind pushes the turbine round, making kinetic energy. Kinetic means movement, so it's moving the turbine. This movement is then changed into electricity. So for this task here, most of you haven't seen a wind tur turbine in Ethiopia. I certainly haven't. Um, it says, if yes, tell us where. So what I would do is I would go to Google and search wind turbine Ethiopia. Yeah, and there will tell you the place where you can find some wind turbines. So you can write down this name. And if you want, you can use the picture to draw uh, the wind turbine. If you find it difficult to draw from these pictures, just draw a wind turbine yourself, OK? Um, maybe label it as well, you know, the different parts. The turbine is the actual thing which spins. Um, this is the, you could describe it as a mast. Okay, And show how it spins as well. Maybe put some arrows on. OK.